Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to do the setup of the Traveler's Notebook that I got for my mother for her birthday from Mystic's Little Gifts. Okay, and this it's an A6 in caramel. Um, let's stick it back in here, and I'm going to make a folder I think I'm gonna make a laminated dashboard and two or three books for it um, let me look at the elastics in it so there's four elastics so yeah I think that will get her started my mom doesn't like all the girly frou-frou decorative stuff so this will be basic she likes um, jewel tones so this was like the closest thing that I had for to jewel tones this is a paper pad from the hot buy section at Michaels on the bright side and it's got like these turquoise -y purple with some gold foil I figure I'd give her a little oomph with the gold foil and then this so so I'm gonna go and use the template that I have for a folder I'm gonna go to my Cricut and cut this and I'll be back so here are the pieces to the folder that I cut with the Cricut I'm gonna go ahead and score and fold and start getting this ready to glue together The template for this folder is available in my shop at scrapcraftastic.com. There's also a variety of sizes for traveler's notebooks. I also have envelopes as well. The templates work with the Cricut silhouette and I also include a file that you can use to cut them manually by hand. So here I'm just doing my folding, burnishing, and prepping it to glue together. So I'm just making sure everything is lined up and smoothing everything out. I'm gonna slide the inside pocket in and that gives me four pockets with my folder. I'm using Fabri-Tac to put it all together. And now I'm gonna burnish again, make sure everything is as flat as possible. And I'm using a hole punch to add notches to the center fold so that it'll rest neatly in the elastics and also it takes the pressure off of the paper so that the paper is less likely to tear. Here I'm just folding the pages for the first notebook or the first two notebooks. And this is lined paper that I printed myself. And I'm just gonna start stacking and dividing this up to make two notebooks. And here I'm going to use the saddle stitch templates that are also available on my website to mark where I need to staple. Um, I didn't really need to do this at this step because I'm actually going to cover these, but I wasn't thinking and so I marked the inside pages.
here I'm cutting the covers and they are, they are six by a little over eight the notebooks are four by six and I cut them a little bit wider just to allow for the fold so I'm trimming these down to the correct size and doing the folding and burnishing and now I'm going to come back with the saddle stitch templates and mark where I need to staple And I'm just going to place these on and the covers on and staple them in place. And I use the bone folder to press down those staples. I just like to make sure that they're as flat as possible so they don't so that they don't snag or catch on anything. And the stapler that I'm using is a long arm stapler that I got from Amazon. It's not the best quality, but it does work. Here I'm building another notebook of plain 32 pound paper, which is my favorite paper to use. And I don't make too many pages because the notebook could get bulky. And if it gets too bulky, the staples won't bind it. And also it makes it difficult to write in a bulky notebook. Here I'm just looking for another cover for the plain paper notebook and I'm going to use this pattern of feathers just checking to make sure there's nothing else I would prefer to use and I'm trimming this down to six by a little over eight as well Now I'm going to fold and line this up and get it stapled as well. I'm using those templates again. So that's my last notebook and I'm going to take all three of these to my heavy duty paper trimmer and trim them up. And I was able to do all three at one time. I love that paper trimmer. It works great. Here I'm taking my We Are Memory Keepers Crocodile Corner Chomper to round the corners to give my notebooks a nice finished look. Here I'm adding them in the notebook. And it looks like it's coming along nicely. Everything fits nicely. So now I'm going to make a reusable or reloadable dashboard. I'm using the Walmart laminate pouches. I'm using two pouches. I'm going to take this first one and cut it down to two sets of four by six. These will be the pockets.
And there is a video um, where I show how to make these and I'll link that in the eye above and in the description box below. Here I'm taking the pockets and putting them into a full laminate sheet. I placed it on top of the scrapbook paper so that things would show up better, but I'm actually flipping the first set inside out. So the shiny side goes in, the dull side goes out, and I'm just lining it up in the laminate pouch. And again, I'm using the scrapbook paper underneath there as a guide to line things up. Again, I flipped it inside out, shiny side in, dull side out, leave a little space in between and get this ready to go in the laminator. So I'm just using the scrapbook paper again as a lift and a guide to help me feed it into the laminator. Here it's coming out of the laminator and I'm kind of training the center fold while it's still warm so that it will fold easier. Here I am trimming off the top, so I'm breaking the seal, and then I'm gonna trim the, so the other three sides, not breaking the seal. Just training the fold. I'm gonna use my corner chopper again to round the corners to get rid of those pointy edges. And now I'm going to fill up the pockets. So I'm just deciding which papers I want to use to decorate the pockets. And this is a piece that I was going to use to make the folder and it got hung in the Cricut machine, so now I'm just salvaging what I can, and I'm gonna use these two pieces in the pockets. And it's a little big, so I'm gonna need to trim that up a little bit. And once these are done, I will use them as a guide to do the other side, since this is single-sided paper, um, and I want a pattern on both sides, I'm gonna need two inserts in each pocket. There we go. And now I'm gonna do the other size and I'm just gonna use the ones I've already made as a guide to cut the others. So now the dashboard will have a pattern or design on both sides. And let's do this other pocket and we'll be all set. And I use a pencil so that I don't have to measure. I just use that pencil, make a mark and do the trimming. So I'm gonna slide that into the notebook and see how it looks. So now, I'm gonna go and start adding a few embellishments, some paper clips, just a little something, something. Again, my mom doesn't like a lot of frilly extras, but I wanted to give her a little something. So I'm giving her some decorative paper clips. And she also likes my Planner Queen dolls. 
So I'm gonna add a couple of those in and I'm just gonna put them on the dashboards with a little bit of washi tape. And that's a great way to decorate your dashboards because then if you wanna change later, you can easily pull up whatever you taped on and not damage anything. So here I just put one doll, then I'm gonna put another one on the other dashboard, other side of the dashboard. And also, if she doesn't want those on there, she can easily remove them. And with the reusable dashboard, it can be used for storage. She could take the papers out um, and just use it to put your sticky notes on, put your paper clips on, whatever the case. But I'm just popping in the Mystics Little Gifts card. And I also put some sticky notes in that I'm not happy with, but those were all I had on hand. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.